Okay, so now well, let's uh, start the final video of uh, that whole tutorial here. Um, yeah, let me change uh, one thing here. So I don't like that sharp edge from that uh, ground plane that we have here. So to fix that, so select the ground plane and to go to the attribute editor and to down here under the metal ray tab, you find here final gather receive. So let's just turn that off and take a quick render of that. Yeah, so that's uh, the result. I like that. I mean, if you want to, like I said before, you can put in some more lights to have some more highlights or whatever you want to do. Um, but I leave it like it is. Um, let me just um, increase uh, a few um, s uh, steps here. Um, I go to the render settings here, and I want to uh, render out a larger image. So let me just go here to presets and then say, okay, a 1K, uh, that's okay for now. And go here to quality. And what I want to do is, um, if you look at here, so you see this kind of edge here, and I want this uh, a little bit more anti-aliased. So to fix that, go here to uh, the quality tab in your render settings and say here under ray trace, um, um, leave this uh, with the setting here adaptive sampling, and then drop it up one just one step. I mean, if you dial it up, um, you will have. Uh, tremendous uh, more render time with that so be aware of that yeah um, so with that stuff done um, yeah let me take a, a quick render here and I'll be back when that's done so yeah this is um, the final render mm. and you might don't see uh, something down here but um, yeah you get the idea so there are a few issues to, uh, that we can fix. The one thing is that the texture here and that material um, in the middle of that room here, that's a little bit too bright. Um, if you want to check out how to fix uh, that, um, go to Hypershade. Um, select the shader here. And let's um, come in and uh, do a IPR. IPR stands for uh, Interactive Photorealistic Render, as, as long as I know. Um, so only check that region uh, there, just drag it in. And then, yeah, let's, let's just try to do something. Maybe you want to put the re reflectivity to 0.2. Mm, and that doesn't help. Mm, put down the glossiness to something like 0.5. That doesn't help either. And let's uh, maybe we want to dial down the weight here to something like 0.5. That's uh, that that helps. So okay, let's uh, stop that. I click on that button up here to stop the IPR. Um, and now with that done, so you can go in here and um, leave all the settings um, as they are. But um, So any all the time that we rendered something here, that's always been um, the mesh preview. So and you can um, go in here and uh, with the object selected. And I only want to change uh, this on the main part of the room because you know on the inner part and the bolts. I mean that's that's okay. We can leave it. So and you can say here, okay, this, uh, if you go to smooth mesh here. Smooth mesh preview. Mm, it's everything is okay. So the subdivision levels, you can say display subdivisions. So that's something we don't want. And here you can say use preview level for rendering. Mm, 
we want we don't want that we want to crank that up maybe one step further and um, let's take another render of that so yeah that's that's it that's uh, the room and I'm done with that tutorial so hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something and if you have uh, any comments or critics just uh, post it on YouTube or uh, yeah just uh, let me know how, what you think and um, yeah I'll, this is definitely not uh, the last tutorial I made because I had a lot of fun uh, doing this and uh, yeah if you want to you can go in and tweak that and tell me how you did it and whatever you want um, yeah just let me know and uh, for this tutorial I say goodbye <laughs>